what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it's been so long since i've said that i need to start uploading more i just i'm having trouble thinking of what to upload for you guys so what i need you guys to help me out with my viewers my subscribers make sure to comment down below what you all want to see on the channel what content you want me to upload what you want to see of the sti it really helps me out i'm just i don't know i feel like i have writer's block I feel like me already having had an STI, I've already like uploaded everything that I can regarding the car. So anything that I do moving forward is just a repeat with this one. Because if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I've already had an STI in the past. I had a black 2020 STI. I sold it to Carvana. Eight months later, boom, blue STI. So anyways, I did a little poll over the weekend and I asked you guys what you wanted me to upload and you all a lot of you voted for a 20,000 mile review so that's what we're gonna do today I just hit 20,000 miles on the STI this past weekend so I think that's a uh, that's a good milestone for me to go ahead and do a long-term review on how it's been daily driving this car for the last year and a half so without further ado make sure to like and subscribe down below make sure to support the channel and uh, yeah let's get started so just to give you guys a quick little walk around, this car is completely stock performance wise. Um, obviously it doesn't look stock. So we do have the uh, STI front lip. The car is lowered on Fortune Auto coilovers. It does have these Volk TE37 wheels. I know people are gonna ask in the comments. So I'm just gonna let you know right now, they're 18 by 10 with a plus 40 offset. They're wrapped in 265, 35 tires. No, um, no adjustable arms or anything like that. It's literally just lowered on coilovers and I threw the wheels and tires on and that's literally it. I have not done anything else. We also have the OEM rear splash guards here and I also have a nameless axle back exhaust. Besides that, that's literally it. I have nothing else done to it. I don't really plan on doing anything else to the car because my goal for this car is to just have it be as daily driver friendly as possible. I daily drive the crap out of this car. I enjoy driving this car every single day. I mean, obviously if I bought another one eight months later after selling my first one, it just, I mean, that just speaks for itself. It shows how much I love this car. So anyways, just wanted to, I don't want to really ramble on forever and ever. I really want to just get straight to the point. This car is an amazing daily driver. If you're a car enthusiast, if you're into cars and you want something fun, but that you, you can also daily drive, STI is a great option if it's, if it's something that you're looking at. It's all wheel drive. It looks great. It sounds great. It's a sedan. It's very fun to drive. For me, it has been extremely reliable. I know these cars get a really bad reputation of blowing up or being unreliable. 20,000 miles in, I have not had a single issue. Knock on wood, hopefully it stays that way. I mean, you never know what could happen. But I'm a true believer that if you take care of these cars, they will take care of you. And that's, that's I mean, it's plain and simple, that's it. And if you're scared of something blowing up or something going wrong, don't modify it. Keep it under warranty. If something goes wrong, then it's covered. A lot of the times people buy these cars, they modify them, they don't get a proper tune, then the car blows up, and then they're like, what the heck, Subarus suck. This car has been perfectly fine. I had my black one for 15,000 miles, perfectly fine. I had a white 2018 WRX, never had a single issue, and that was tuned and everything. I tuned my black one too for a couple of months too. I've never had any issues with any Subarus that I've had. I've had three. I think the only thing that I would say is a bad thing about this car is the gas mileage. The gas mileage is atrocious on this car. I average about 20 miles per gallon and I don't even drive this car that aggressively. I honestly baby this thing. And I guess the only other thing if I'm really nitpicking around, the stereo could definitely be better for a $40,000 car. I mean, you can always go with the limited trim model and get the Harman Kardon uh, or however you say it, 
stereo system, but the base model stereo system definitely could use some work. It, it's it's just it's just not good. But like I said, the car looks amazing. Has a very nice interior, very nice seats, which I do find pretty comfortable. The bolstering could be a little bit more aggressive. Hi, Mr. Ladybug. It's a sedan, so I mean, you can fit you and your buddies, your friends, whatever, your wife, your kid. There's just really very few bad things to say about this car. I also haven't just like driven this car around my area. I've literally gone on really long road trips with this car. Um, I live really close to DC. I'm in the Northern Virginia area. I drove this car to Miami, Florida and back. So that's 1,000 miles there. I think just a little bit more than that. Um, so yeah, it's 2,000 miles right there in road tripping that I've done in the car. 15, 16 hours of driving. I did it all nonstop, no rest. Literally just stopped to fill up the car again and keep going and I stopped to eat. Besides that, the car was amazing. Had no issues whatsoever. Again, getting a little bit better gas mileage would have been helpful on, the, on that road trip. But besides that, the car was amazing and it was fun to take that road trip. I'm actually gonna be driving this car to Miami again in like two weeks and I'm excited to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually film it this time. I'm gonna vlog it. So make sure to look out for that. I really have nothing bad to say about this car. I love this car. It's my second one. I don't regret getting a second one whatsoever. I mean, to summarize the video, looks great, super fun to drive, sounds amazing, sedan, all wheel drive. But anyways, let me know what questions you guys have in the comments down below. Let me know how you guys feel about you know everything I said. And also let me know what other content you guys wanna see on the STI, but besides that, that's pretty much I've, all I've got. I probably forgot a couple of things to mention. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.